So Tom, we'll focus on yourself first, obviously named assistant manager this summer. What what could we expect to see in terms of your playing role on the field and of course assistant manager off the field? Uh, I'll definitely be playing less. Um, we made sure with the recruitment that the midfield department's well stocked um, so I can really get my teeth into the, the coaching. Um, my assistant manager role, I'll be giving it everything to push the lads uh, individually and as a team and push the manager as well he, wa he wants me to challenge him he wants me to support him um, and, and query and question things so I'll be pretty full on with the with the coaching and management side of it but um, I will be keeping fit I'll be joining training so if needed and if if called upon I'll be I'll be ready to step in we saw you assisting John McCarthy at the back end of last season and you could see from the dugout you almost seem to to have that buzz. Is that is that right? Have you almost got that buzz for coaching now, and you just want to be on sort of more on the coaching side? Yeah, I love it. I've I've loved playing. I do love playing, but I love I love coaching even more. I've uh, just got the bug for it. Really, I've been doing it for about three years now at various different levels. Um, yeah, I, I love it. I love the the planning side of it for the sessions uh, and having experienced uh, the games at the back end of last year. It's yeah, I've got big, big enthusiasm for it, and looking forward to the uh, friendly starting next week. And you mentioned those friendlies. Could could you give us an insight in terms of how these friendlies came about, and and is there a specific plan towards why these friendlies were chosen, and on which days, and, and yeah. things like that going forward? Yeah, it's a bit different how we've, how it's uh, mapped out, but that that's how the manager works. He he likes to do things a, a bit different, and yeah, there's a lot of thought gone into it. So we've had three weeks. We will have had three weeks of hard work. Um, so they'll be feeling a little bit tired, a little bit leggy, and they get the weekend off, the players, and then there's seven games in two weeks to really sharpen things up. So they've got that base fitness, that's what we've tried to get over this three weeks, uh, and then they go into the games and fine tune everything. Uh, it's a bit like sparring and getting ready for, um, ready for the season. You mentioned, of course, looking after that midfield role, the two players that were, that were brought in, Kingsley James and Paul Turnbull. It, 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 the, you know, the strong competition in the middle of the park, isn't there? Those two signings have really captured the imagination of the fans. Yeah, uh, uh, they're two lads that I've played against quite a lot and I've always known I've been in a game. Uh, they're different types of midfield player, but they, I think they'll complement each other and there's, there's other players in the squad that will be pushing uh, to start in, in the middle of midfield. There's uh, real, real depth to it. Um, but those two, the, the way they've applied themselves in the first bit of training, you, you can see why they've been at this level and above for, uh, for a long time because they're, they're good professionals, they've, they've got real drive and energy and, and quality. So they, they, they'll prove to be good players for, for Chester. And of course there was the return of Ross Hanna, a player that you played with two seasons ago here now. Scores lots of goals and, and you must be delighted to see him back as well. It's great. It's great, he's great around the place as well, he's, he's a top lad and we hope he can hit that goal scoring form again. But it's it's also the way he plays and it's it's infectious and he's a seasoned campaigner, he's, he's in his 30s but the lads have seen him in training already, he's, he's charging around everywhere, he gives it everything every, every day and if the younger players see a, an experienced one doing that, they've got to go with it, they've got to, they've got to try and replicate that and, and get to get to his levels. But even though he has been around for a while and he is, he is my mate, uh, I've told him I'll be pushing him and uh, I want him to have an even better season this time round and we'll have a good professional relationship. National League fixtures released this Wednesday and then of course it's just a month until the new season. How excited and also optimistic are you ahead of the new season? I can't wait for it to, to get started. Uh, everyone feels the same. The, the, the training has been brilliant, the standard of training, um, the attitude of everyone. So I think everybody's ready for the games now. Um, but there are some very strong teams and you, the recruitment that's going on, you see it every day, there, there's some good experienced players being brought into this division so we know how hard it's going to be um, and we have to be realistic but we are excited and we, we want to try and get something going.